Hello friends. So today I came with a new update. So new thing today we are going to learn about SAP API. So today we are going to learn how to pass an accounting entry in SAP API. Okay, so we do, we can pass a general entry, any accounting entry in SAP. So that we are going to learn today how we can pass an accounting entry in SAP FI mode. Okay, so T code for the same is FB01. Okay, and first of all, we need to understand what will be an accounting entry that we are going to pass in SAP. So for that perspective, we first need to create an accounting entry and then we can process it in SAP. So the accounting entry is printing expenses paid by bank. 10,000 rupees. So this is the business transaction for which we need to pass an accounting entry. So now uh, I'm just creating an accounting entry here, a general entry. So general entry would be your printing expense account debit 10,000 rupees. Your bank account is going to be credited by 10,000 rupees. So this is an accounting entry which we are going to process in SAP. Okay. So let's begin. Login into SAP. Okay. And as I told you, the T code for passing an accounting entry would be FB01. So there are around three, four T codes through which you can pass in JV general entry in SAP. One is FB01, F-01, F-02 or FB50. Okay. So today we are going to learn how to pass an account entry with FB01. So FB01 is the T code. Enter it. Now this is the form through which you can pass an account entry. So I'm processing and filling up the details one by one. So one first is document date. So say for example, our document, our printing expenses, we are booking for 30th 11, and same is the posting date. Now here we need to, uh, you know, uh, capture document type. So any accounting entry which you are passing in SAP in ha is having a, a cap, you know, concept like, you are debiting a GL account and crediting a GL account. So in that case, the document type would be SA, which we are going to use. Give your document type here. Give the company code C101. I am entering for CA Task Limited. And give here currency code INR Indian rupees. Now, in this reference column, we need to enter a bill number. So whatever bill we are having for this printing expenses, we can enter. So for our example, say for example, bill number is 12. Now, in this, we need to create first line item. So what is our first line item or general entry? Here, printing expense account debited 10,000. So this line item, first line item we need to create here. So in SAP, when we are passing an accounting entry through FB01, it is not like that you can debit and credit any general user account directly. You can debit or credit a general user account with the help of posting keys. So the posting key for debiting a GL account is 40. So posting key 40. And here we need to search the printing expense. So just click on the search button and here give the details. Give the you know text part in G, GL now text. In star in between you star if you are entering any kind of text so system will search the text whether it is in the starting and whether it is in between or whether it is in end okay so like if anywhere I have written in creation of my GL account printing all the GL account will be captured so I'm using this second account printing expenses, which I have created starting with four now press enter Give your amount here. Say for example, as for our example, the amount is 10,000. So enter 10,000. Here in this column, you need to enter the business area. So business area code is VAD. Then 
you need to enter the tax. So I'm entering the tax printing expense put. Now in the next line item, we need to create the next line item of this general entry. So what is the next line item? Bank account credit with 10,000. So we need to credit a GL account here. So for crediting a GL account, as I told you, the posting key is 550. After that, you have to enter here the GL account of bank. So we again need to search it. Click on search button. Give here SDFC bank. I have created a general user account for SDFC. Search it. Double click on this option. And now your GL account of bank is captured. Again, press enter. Give the amount here. Same. And if you don't want to enter amount or you forget amount, that could be a case. So in that case, you just press, uh, you know, give here star. Then give again the business area, which is Vadodara. In value date, we need to enter a date, which is a payment document date. So whenever you are going to lie or whenever you are liable to pay the amount of this transaction, that date you can enter here. And again, the text bar. So printing expenses book. So when you will enter all these details, just press enter. When you will enter, system will capture the debit amount which you have mentioned in the first line item automatically. You is not required to enter this amount. You are not required to enter this amount here. Just give a star here and when you will press enter, system will automatically capture the amount which you have mentioned in first line item. Okay. So now we have, you know, created both of the line items, one and second. Okay. So after creation of this line item, you can review this. What is the accounting entry which is going to be passed by this system? So for reviewing accounting entry, click on this button, display document overview. You click on this document and when you will click on this option, system will show you the accounting entry, how it is going to be passed. So here we can review the document date, what is the posting date, what is the posting period, fiscal year, okay, bill number, what GL account you have debited, what GL account you have credited, and then the total debit amount, total credit amount, whether both are matching or not matching. Like that you can review the things. So if you find everything is okay, then you can save. When you will save, system will automatically generate a document number, which is unique to this transaction, which you have passed here. So this is how you can process an accounting entry in SAP. Okay, and any general entry if you want to pass, you can pass like that. So, okay. So this is about passing an accounting entry in SAP. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and share or you can, you know, give the comments for anything you didn't understand or anything you want to know about this transaction or about SAP. Thanks for watching.